to share? What do you mean? Well, it seems to me that when you talk about your childhood, you get somewhat uncomfortable. No. I think it would be healthy if you talked about it. Uh, well, sometimes I get these flashbacks and I can't relate them to anything I remember. What do they look like? I see a kid and, and someone is, is trying to hurt him and um, I think that kid is me. Uh, I know it doesn't make any sense, right? Did you suffer any abuse as a child? By who? By anyone. A family member, a teacher, a friend. Can you think of anyone? When I get these flashbacks, I see some sort of shadow. Like, like a person, but I don't know. Could it be your mom or dad or an uncle, perhaps? N no, no, not my mother. And about uh, about my father, uh, he left us when I was too young to even remember. I mean, there, there is no point. It, it couldn't be my father. Um, I didn't even remember his physical appearance. Uh, I never saw a picture of him. My mother wouldn't let us. To see pictures of him, that is. Let us? Um, I, I have a sister. Her name is Angelica. So I take it you still live with your mom? Hmm. No, uh, I, I don't live with my mother anymore. Uh, I haven't gotten to that part yet. Would you like to talk about it? Do I have a choice? Of course, you can talk about anything you want. Despite uh, everything that happened, she, she was a very good mother. Uh, <laughs> I really miss her a lot. What happened? She lost control over the situation. You see, my mother used to take very strong medication to control her depression. Why was she depressed? N Nikolai Ivanov, um, my father uh, left my mother when I was just born. And since then, she hasn't been very healthy. She's always been under antidepressants. Anyway, my mother had always wanted to come to America because she knew that my father, her ex-boyfriend, came to New York City for the better life without us. And she just wanted to find him very badly. Did you find him? No. No, we didn't. And the thing is that once she realized she would never find him, she stopped taking her medication. <laughs> um, she didn't tell us. And then one day, not too long ago, she, uh, she, she killed herself.
came for me without her. In a city like New York, so big, so crowded, the sense of loneliness is just profound, suffocating at times. That afternoon we had a fight and I left. <laughs> Мама, пожалуйста, закончи это. Стань обрана на ноги и прощу тебя. Ставить? Ты знаешь, что нужно было сделать аборт? Когда не было поздно, не пришлось бы мучиться с тобой всю жизнь. Не стоит это время. Он оставил меня из-за тебя. Как ты можешь такое говорить? На колени. Больно? Вот. Да, I'm so sorry about your loss. I know that you must feel all alone, but you have to believe me, it will get better. There is so much more to it than the death of my mother. I have gone through a tough year. I have done things that I am not proud of. Things I never thought I would. And it just keeps getting worse. There is no way out. live a life like this. I just keep being neglected. <laughs> life is unfair. I know. I'm here for you though, okay? You'll be alright. To be honest, I don't even have energy to cry anymore. I understand. How's your sister handling all of this? Is she okay? Uh, um, um, Angelica, uh, she left. She has left and she hasn't told me where she's going to. I went home and all her stuff was gone. Oh, what, what do you mean? She left? Did she say anything? Did she leave a note? No, no, she didn't. And the thing is that she took all the savings my mother had. I have nothing. I don't know how I'm going to make it. How will I pay for things? Okay, relax. You can find a job. No, I can't, Emma. I'm not even legal to work. What am I... What am I supposed to do, huh? Okay, okay. You... You're a smart boy, okay? You'll figure it out. I'll, I'll help you. Uh, New York City has plenty of opportunities. Okay? Maybe you're right. Just trust me. You'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Did she help you? Yes, yeah, she did. She sure did. <laughs> 